John from San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. And uh, he's got what I think is one of the neatest things they have here on the exhibitor floor, which is a mobile command center. John, could you talk us through a little bit about what it is we're going to be seeing here? Sure can. Um, actually, it's not a mobile command center. Um, we've, we've gone away from that. This is a mobile mapping unit, an ah, MMU. And what we've done is we've taken the, the command staff out of this unit, put them in their own command post. Okay. And what you're going to see today is a unit that's dedicated to mapping. Um, it's used in the ICS system as the planning intel section. Right. And uh, under that comes your, your mapping. So if we have a large incident, we can send this out and we can do uh, mapping up to NCE size right there at the incident for the, for the command staff. And uh, we've been using it, we've had it about two years now, and it's great. Yeah, and I see you've got set up a lot of, I, I think, fairly interesting, even low-tech features. Like, uh, I noticed that the, the you've got whiteboards on all the uh, surfaces where you'd hide stuff, which... In a command post, you're always writing. And um, so we tried to utilize as much of the surfaces as we could with whiteboards. It starts at the low-tech, and then they got all the way to the high-tech. They've got uh, uh, machines here. It look like they're pretty well up-to-date. Uh, correct. Uh, right now we have uh, two dedicated uh, GIS workstations. They're Dell laptops. Uh, they're about a year old, so at that time they were, you know, the top of the technology. Probably in another year we'll have to upgrade. Um, we run uh, Arc 9.2. Just got the 9.3. We'll be upgrading yeah. <laughs> after we let everybody else work the bugs out, of course. Right. <laughs> And we also run some off-the-shelf topographic uh, software, uh, MapTech Pro, mm -hmm. uh, Train Navigator Pro is what it's called, and then this all the other standard, uh, you know, PC software. So where do you keep your data? I mean, do you store it here on the unit, or do you connect back to the home office? We can get back to the home office. We have a satellite system where we can uh, get on the internet and do what we need to do there. Uh, we also have a Wi-Fi system set up with an amplifier so that uh, some of the other commanders like the fire department if we give them a password they can sit in their command vehicle and access through our satellite their uh, their data but we do have on board right now we have a terabyte of data storage wow we're going to be doubling that within the next couple weeks yeah hard drives are becoming cheaper every day oh, yes. and then the last thing I, I you should mention is uh the um the plotter the printers it looks like you've got a full printing production capability back there correct uh we have a i believe it's a hp 1055 mm -hmm. um, plotter and we do a lot of ANSI size ease for our morning briefings right um and we do a lot of eight and a half eleven color uh laser prints uh we have a multi-printer which has the fax and the scanner and all that stuff on it all so, the bells and whistles yeah, yeah. Whenever, uh, do you normally work by making custom maps from the ground up, or do you have a lot of things like pre sort of generated, like base map stuff, and they say, well, we need to know these pieces of information about this, this particular area, or how does that normal? Well, or is, it, is there a normal? The biggest use we use it for is search and rescue. Okay. San Bernardino County is the largest county in the contiguous United States, it's 20,000 square miles. Wow. So we get a lot of people who come into our county and recreate and then get lost or injured. Right. So we average about two large-scale search and rescues a month. And, of course, the mapping is a key portion of that. Uh, the documentation, all our teams go out with GPSs. Mm -hmm. um, even our dogs, search dogs, have little GPSs really? on their, on their <laughs> uh, shadracks. So everybody comes back, and this, and this unit you'll see we do the debriefs in here. Um, the map technician will download their GPS. At the same time, they'll, uh, the team leader will be debriefed by a debriefer on the search area. And we're also testing some new live tracking equipment, which the GPS is built into the microphone. And every time the person transmits, it sends a data burst back to us, which we huh. pick up, and it immediately shows their position on a topo map. So we can live track and know where all our teams are in the field. This is an impressive setup, you know, for it's a, an amazing amount of production you can do and, and what is a really small space. And this, like I said, I think is one of the neater things that I've seen here at, at the user conference this year. And I want to thank you for your time, John. Well, great. We're glad to be here and love to show off our toys. All righty.